Welcome to this episode of Beauty to Bank. This is the number one place on the web where beauty professionals learn how to make money without standing behind the chair. I have an amazing show for you today. Um, I am your host, Season Bennett. I am the CEO of The Social Barber, and I am passionate about helping beauty professionals learn how to get some of this online coin, these vacation bucks, okay? If you are passionate, you you know something, you're trying to figure out how do you pack up package up your expertise to sell, you're in the right place, okay? Today's show, we're going to be talking about the lie of passive income, okay? There's a lot of lies going around online, and I want to dispel all of those myths, those lies, and uh, get you to the truth right away. Also, we've got an amazing guest today, Mr. Jay Ladner. We're going to be catching up with him, finding out all of the amazing things that he's got going on, okay? I am excited, guys. But let's jump right in, okay? We're not going to waste any time. Let's get right into the lies of passive income. So for those of you guys who know me, you know I love, love, love to share. I love to teach. And I love to talk about digital products, okay? So online classes, webinars, and all that good stuff. So when we're talking about passive income, it's making that money through selling digital products, okay? So packaging up what you know and selling. So that's the dope part is that every single person is an expert in what they already know, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen here, all right? And we are going to talk about the lies of passive income. All right, so here we go. Make sure all my tech stuff is working over here. You know me. All right, so let's talk about lie number one. You don't have to work. Listen, no matter what type of passive income that you're doing, whether it's online, physical, whatever it is that you're doing, passive income means that you do the majority of the work up front, okay? There is still maintenance work that you have to do, but you can do the work up front, even with your online classes, okay? Um, whether you choose to pre-record, whether you choose to um, you know, do a live webinar and resell the replays, um, you're doing the work up front, okay? You have to set up your checkout page. You have to come up with the concept. You have to figure out what you're going to teach, what you're going to offer. You can have handouts. Are you going to have downloads? Are you going to have other tools that you're that you're going to be able to give somebody with that offer? So with that in mind, you have to create that stuff ahead of time, okay? Now, the dope part is with passive income is that once you've created that one thing, you can sell it over and over and over again, okay? Let's get in here. If you guys are just joining, go ahead and drop a one in the comments, okay? We are going over the lies of passive income, right? All right, so lie number two. Okay, you can set it and forget it. All right, if you are not actively promoting um, your digital content, whether you've got replays, whether you have a live a live class, no matter what it is that you've got going on, an ebook. Okay, I wrapped up my my ebook challenge, so a lot of people now have ebooks. Okay, um, so if you have an ebook, you have to promote it, and it's just something that you need to put into your regular content post it. You can literally schedule it in advance, okay? But you do need to go ahead and promote it. The second thing is if you do have some type of online class in an online platform, you guys know I use Kajabi. I talk about it all the time. They actually have a special, hit me up in the DM. They have a special just today's the last day. So make sure that you jump on that, okay? But one thing that you absolutely want to do is monitor the comments. People might have questions in the comments and there's a way to manage the comments um, so that you can see if people have questions, if there was something that was left out, maybe you forgot to hit the publish button. It's okay. But if you do not monitor your comments, if you do not make sure that you are responding to people with their questions, you're going to have an issue and people are not going to want to keep buying your product. Okay. So do not set it and forget it. Okay. Set it and monitor it, all right? Lie number three, okay? We are counting down the a lie of passive income. We're dispelling myths. We are talking about all the good stuff. Lie number three, it's quick and easy to make passive income, okay? 
let's talk about this a little bit, okay? Um, this one, I think, comes from spending too much time on social media. I know you're like, season. I thought we were supposed to spend a lot of time. That's how I met you. You've inspired me. That's how I got started, is knowing about people on social media. So this is the thing. When you're talking about social media marketing, remember, it's marketing. And I think I've talked to a lot of my students in my group coaching program, the Six Figure Business Systems, and sometimes people you know, are watching other people online, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, I made a million dollars in an hour. Oh my gosh, I made a million dollars yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. Here I am in my private jet and I'm doing all these amazing things. I never have to work. Um, and so it makes people feel like what they're doing isn't right. Okay, if you felt like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the comments, okay? So I remember talking to a student of mine and she just felt like she wasn't doing a good job. It was her first class out the gate and, you know, she still had about five days before the actual class started, okay? She had about five days and what ended up happening was she felt like her class wasn't going well, okay? She felt like her class wasn't going well because... um she felt like, oh, I only made $2,000 in sales, okay? So I want to invite you to think about this money in a different way, okay? Um, you know, let's say you paid $2,000 for, you know, a class, a coach, or for training to learn how to do this, okay? Now, let's say you've done your first class out the gate and you've made $2,000. Um, maybe it took you an hour, two hours long to actually do your class, okay? Now, this is the thing. How many of you are making $2,000 in an hour? Some of you might be, some of you might not be, okay? But nobody steps on, out there, okay? Almost nobody, it's an anomaly. And they just make all this amazing money. You have to get better. You have to understand, you have to practice. And if you don't practice, you're not going to get better, okay? So just think about being in it for the long haul. Think about sticking with it. Think about getting better over time. Even with you learning how to do hair, nails, or whatever it is that you do, you it took you time to get better, okay? Stick with it. Celebrate your wins, okay? Um, you know, I mean, it's it can be quick, okay? There are some things that you can do to make it quicker, but I think that if we stop watching social media, get tunnel vision, and focus on our own goals, you're going to get to where you want to go a lot quicker. All right. Lie number four. We're on number four now. Lie number four. It's a scam. Okay. I have actually had people come to me and they're like, you know what? All this online stuff, it just sounds too good to be true. And it sounds like a scam. Okay. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. Um, this has been going on for years and years and years. I have spent tens of thousands of dollars getting education from people online. I spent over 20 years in corporate America doing things online, having coworkers in India or um, Costa Rica or California, Indianapolis, wherever they were. I've worked with people all over the world for many years. So this online world, it might be new to you, but it's not new. Okay. Now um, it's a great way for you to package up your, um, the knowledge that you have. And I know a lot of beauty industry professionals love doing things in person. Hey, don't we all? But I feel like, you know, the shutdowns, the pandemic and everything was such a blessing to the industry because what ended up happening is that guess what? Now you, you're, you're um, at the party, you're at the digital, the online party, and you understand what it takes. Okay. So it is not a scam. It is a way that people have made millions of dollars online. It's a way that you can help people all over the world. I literally have students in Africa who are able to join my classes and, and be online and able and I'm able to give them um, education at a cheaper price point because guess what? They are, don't have to travel. They don't have to get babysitters. They don't have to um, pay for hotels. All the different things that have to come when you travel, um, you don't have to worry about that. Now you can help more people in less time. And, and guess what? You don't have to take time away from your family either, okay? All right, let's get to it. The lie of passive income. Lie number five, if you build it, they will buy it. Let's get into this, okay? This is one that, a mistake that I absolutely made, okay? People hype you up. They might gas you up and make you feel like, oh, yes, just go ahead and just record this, put it out there, and you're just going to make this, this money. 
doesn't really work like that. Okay. I hate to tell you this. And us as educators, um, you know, I like to, to think about us kind of like we're the, you know, as a teacher, we know what our students need. They might want certain things, but what they want and what they need are two different things. Okay. Can I get an amen? Okay. Um, now when I say this, that, um, you know, what people will buy is different than, than what they need. Okay. So what I like to do in my, in my coaching program, the six figure business systems, what I do is I teach people to pre-sell. Okay. What do you mean by pre-sell? Sell tickets to a live event, right? A live webinar, sell tickets to that. And that way, you know, that's what people want. And you don't spend a whole bunch of time creating content, putting together a course and spending time for something that nobody wants. Okay. Validate that it's something that people will purchase by selling the tickets. The dope part about doing it in this way that first of all, you get paid to create your content. Number one. Okay. Hello. We want to get paid for everything that we do. So number one, you get paid to create your content. Number two, there's no expectation of video editing. So you're not spending a whole bunch of money on videographers and, and having this, you know, crazy setup. Um, you people expect it. They're like, Hey, we're going to get on, um, you know, a live, um, event and this is what we're going to do. Okay. And you can still resell those replays. Okay. So make sure before you start building and spending all this money and doing all this video editing that people actually want it by pre-selling. All right. We are counting down the lies in passive income, things that you may have heard, things you may have seen on social media, and I want to dispel all those myths right now, okay? Lie number six, you can figure it out on your own, okay? In some cases, you can figure out a lot of things online, okay? Now, there's a couple of things I want to, this is super important, and I'm passionate about this one for many reasons, okay? Um, there are a lot of things that you can find out and figure out how to do on YouTube, okay? You can figure it out. YouTube is for views. YouTube is for people to build their own platform, okay? YouTube is not necessarily always just for you to figure out how to do things for free, okay? A lot of the people that are sharing certain videos online, they're sharing it because they have something for sale. They want to get the views up. They're going to, you know, spread it out and drag it out to the end. You guys know how they do. Okay, stay tuned. We're going to get there, okay? Before you hit, hit the subscribe button. Oh, and if you are listening right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? But I digress, right? Um, so the thing is, is that you can figure out things on your own. Um, you probably could. I figured out things on my own and it took me a long time, okay? And remember, I have a master's degree in software development, okay? So I'm a very techie girl. I literally know how to code. And one of the biggest things that cost me a lot of money, okay? Um, is trying to figure things out on my own. Okay. Get a mentor, fast track your results. Um, because what happens is that while you're trying to figure it out on your own, you could have set up a one-on-one, -on -one, you could take a course, you could join a group, a uh, group coaching program. You could do all of those things and fast track your results. Okay. So sometimes when people think, Oh, I don't want to pay for this mentorship. You literally, it's costing you money not to get a mentor. Okay. Um, for me, I told you I started my online school late 2015. Okay. It took me till 2020 to hit six figures, but guess what? I already hit six figures earlier this year in 2021. Okay. So that lets me know that me not having a mentor literally cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. I literally hit the quarter million mark just with my online school. So yes, yes, yes. Okay. Taking a bow. Okay. <laughs> Um, but it's just to let me know and to let you know, I'm sharing this with you because once you figure things out, you can get there quicker. You just need the system and we don't have time to be doing all this, figuring things out, invest in the right people. If you see somebody that's doing what you want to do, you know, drop in their DMS. Hey, how can I learn this? Do you have one-on-ones? Do you have group coaching? Do you have a red carpet? Um, you know, one day intensive that we can do together, you know, find out what it is that they have to do because guess what? It's costing you money, not knowing. Okay. All right. If you learned anything new, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Um, but let's move on. I'm super excited about our next guest here. Okay. 
Mr. Jay Ladner. All right. Um, I am super excited about him. He is an accomplished hair and makeup artist um, with experience in film, television, theater, print, and digital media. Jay is also a successful entrepreneur, educator, author, um, the digital creative director of Oligo Professional, and um, the one of the hosts of the No Stylist Left Behind podcast with Nina Tulio, who she was here a couple weeks ago as well. Jay has been in the industry for over 10 years. Let's get Jay on here. Jay, are you there? Hey, Jay, welcome to Beauty to Bank. Hey, hey, Susan. Thank hey. you so much for having me. Of course, of course, of course. It wouldn't be right without you. I am so excited to have you here. Look at all the comments. Everybody is so excited. All right. So of course I would have to have you, okay? The theme of my show is um, taking your knowledge of the beauty industry straight to the bank and who else would it be but you? So you've got so many things going on. It's just Literally, let's get into this. So let's talk about <laughs> your products. Tell us all about these products. Yeah, so I um, am so thankful for my journey with Oligo and being their digital creative director. And we've launched the Seasonal Shades collection and it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, so that is coming to an end at the end of August. So make sure you go to oligopro.com, but also, you know, I'm on tour. So we're, that's a whole nother journey, right? So being a creative director of a company and then running my chair behind the chair with my guest in LA and then now traveling and going on tour. So the seasonal shades are absolutely stunning it's a dream come true i never thought right we all sign up for like okay we're gonna get our license right like we're gonna get our license this sounds yeah. good now there's an unlimited opportunities right in front of our face and you start building that credibility and i from the start was building my credibility to lead as a creative director and when this color line launched i was just like someone pinch me like this is the i never thought stepping into hair school, I would be setting a trend, right? Moving forward with that. So yeah, it's awesome. Seasonal shades, framboise, karai, coral, raspberry. It's fabulous and you can use it for fall. So stock up, make sure All you stock right. up. I heard that. Okay. So, okay. Let's talk about this tour. I mean, yes. come on. oh, I'm just on tour. I mean, come <laughs> on. <let's> <laughs> Let's talk about this tour. So where yeah. are you going? Okay. What is going on here with this? So I've already been um, to a couple states already, but I have five locations left and I'll be in Ohio this month. I'm going to be in the South. So August 22nd, I'm going to be in Vidalia, Georgia, because listen, I'm the educator for the next generation. And I will show up in big cities, in small towns. So we can't leave out our small town stylists that are hungry for our artists to come in there and to speak that truth and knowledge. So August 22nd, I'm gonna be in Vidalia, Georgia. The 23rd of August, I'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, I love Atlanta. It's like yes. one of my favorite <laughs> cities. Cannot wait. And then on um, April 25th, I'm going to be in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. I'm in the South. Yes. And then from there, I will be in Boston in September and San Francisco as well in September. So that's the end of my tour for 2021 because I'm trying to practice self-care, self-love and spend time with my family. So I don't want to overdo it. Um, but I'm really pumped about this tour. It's my third one. And I remember when I started season, like it was new. Independent yeah. education was new. We all, I mean, I've learned a lot um, along the way, but one thing I know for a fact is I love teaching and educating yeah. and making stylists more efficient. And that's through innovation, the way that we look at placement and pattern. Yes. And I see you have an ebook on that. Yes. So <laughs> I launched my ebook, which you love. Yes. You're so proud of me. Um, I launched in 2019. It's Yay. placement patterns and potions. 
And now with this tour, I created a second ebook. Oh my god! So this tour um, is a whole new set of placement and patterns Mm -hmm. that don't don't exist in my first ebook, and it's special to this tour and will be available in 2022 when my tour ends. Um, and I'm already working on my third one for my next tour. So we're always adapting and evolving. We're always reevaluating the way we look at head shape at J Lightner Education just to make it a little bit more efficient. So you can spend more time with your family or go on vacation and, you know, don't have to spend eight hours on one head. Right. right. Exactly. Okay. So, you know, I was going to get all of those digital products. You know that. Okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. But let's talk about, because you brought something up very near and dear to my heart. I was going to talk about this later, but you brought it up because part of the reason why I'm so passionate about digital products is because I have an 11 year old daughter. I yes. have a husband and I have a yes. purpose now too. More work than I would have signed up for <laughs> had I known. But you know, can you talk about your family? Because I see you posting some things. Yes. And I think that's why we do things. It's super important. Yeah. So I was fortunate enough when I started dating my husband to get two little babies, Madison and Andrew, a part of my life. And I've been in their life for 13 years. I'm their Mm -hmm. co-dad. They're grown. They're now at 17 Madison. She's a senior. This is coming up here. Uh And our son, Andrew, he's 15. He'll be a sophomore at Hollywood High School. Uh Um, So cool. I'm like, you have the best life. You're living in Los Angeles as I, like you go to Hollywood High, like this is not normal. Um, (laughs) Right. So they're now allowing me to share them. Um, They asked when they were growing up to not disrespect their, they wanted me to respect their privacy. And, but now they're getting older and now they get it right. They're like, Oh, my dad Jay is kind of cool. Like, let me do it. So I know we, you probably saw my TikTok dance with my daughter. I'm so proud of them. And, Mm -hmm. you know, that's why I share things that make Mm-hmm. our world as hairdressers a little bit more simple so you don't miss out on the family time because I like to fast track the people I mentor so they don't have to spend so many hours and miss out on so many opportunities with their family that I did mm-hmm. and yeah. my kids are grown like I feel like they're grown-ups now yeah. I'm like my kids are grown and they and they look back and they see how hard I hustled but I missed the recitals when I was on set. Like I missed, mm-hmm. you know, those special moments, dinners, all of that when I was behind the chair. So mm-hmm. I'm inspiring innovation and inspiring stylists to set the hours and they will come. That's set right. the hours and your clients will come rather than overbook and overwork yourself with no purpose, but to just work. So not to miss out on the family. So yeah. yeah. And it's really hard as a parent because, you know, it's like, we feel like we're getting pulled in so many different directions. Yes. It's like, yeah. we wanna, you know, we want to be entrepreneurs. We're passionate about this. And then we want to do right by our family. And it seems like we're, you know, we're never doing, you know, the, we, we're <laughs> our worst critics. So we yes. are like, oh man, I could be doing better. So I'm so glad yeah. that you're talking about this. Cause it's, it's not easy. It's not, and it's important to, you know, have your career, have your success, Mm -hmm. but especially if you're watching this and you're a parent, Mm -hmm. make sure you don't miss those moments when they're growing up, even though they'll watch that hustle, they'll watch that, they'll learn that they, they learn it. But if you're in the middle of it, you don't think so. You think you're missing out, but make sure you just spend maybe a couple more Saturdays with them, like maybe one a month instead of none. Right. So if I can give anything to that, it's just run your business more efficiently and you do have to think innovatively, right. The way that you're going to run your books. Um, But going digital Mm -hmm. has allowed me to spend as much time with them. I, I mean, my daughter was in town for two weeks and I didn't work behind the chair, but I was still making revenue. 
because I have online education, mm-hmm. I have eBooks, like there's availability. I'm still chatting with them, right? And keeping that connection with all of you. But I also have digital, you know, resources yeah. that can allow me to still make money while I'm going to Six Flags with That's my two right. teenage oh my kids. Gosh. Earlier um, this year, I went on um, to Cancun with my husband for our anniversary and I was making money. That was like one of my, like, you know, we've got all our milestones and I was like, wait a minute, like I literally made more money than I would have made in a whole week in corporate America. And I was on vacation. Exactly. And I just went on vacation to celebrate my anniversary with my husband in Hawaii. And I remember like pulling up, it, it was like halfway through And I like forgot for a second that I was on tour. Like I was just enjoying like my husband and that time. And I pulled up my, like my account, like to where I saw my tickets. And I was like, right. What? I just paid for my whole vacation. Like literally in three days from, you know, having that available and speaking the truth and sharing your knowledge and, you know, being open and honest and, vulnerable and just, you know, giving back, like, it's so exceptional. So I'm right there with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So let's get into the self-care because you've been, you've mentioned the self-care. Let's talk about it because, you know, um, for beauty professionals, you know, so many times are pouring into their customers and they're taking on a lot of that, whatever stress, anxiety, and everything that the customers are talking about and you're helping them and sharing with them. And, and that's a lot. Yes. Yes. And I, I was made and placed on this earth to be able to be strong enough to dive deep into the emotional side of beauty and that is self. Mm-hmm. And I've realized that. And I have accountability partners placed in my life that allow me to be open and to facilitate these conversations. Mm -hmm. And with every ebook, or if you're, I mean, I share some of the rawest stuff on my Instagram, as you know, I talk about uncomfortable things that we're all going through. And there's one thing I know for a fact, and I know you believe this too, Susan, Mm -hmm. we are more alike than we are different. Mm -hmm. And when we open up and we lean into vulnerability and we work on ourselves we're able to be aware of what's happening around us. Mm -hmm. The awareness that is crucial, the way that you navigate your business. But when you're not focused on you and you're always pouring out to all of the guests behind the chair, if you're on tour, all the stylists that, Mm -hmm. you know, are you're talking, you're an educator, you're pouring out, you're not focusing on you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be aware of what really is happening inside the room. So I love diving deep into the emotional side of beauty and self-love. It's crucial. It is the number one way to grow your business to the next level is working on yourself and being uncomfortable and being vulnerable. And when you can really connect to that level you're going to have amazing raving fans more than you've ever, ever could imagine. And when you're vulnerable with yourself, when you're leaning in, that's where the magic happens. And I love facilitating that when I'm on tour, my online classes that I have and the eBooks that I produce. It's not just about hair. We just happen to be doing it. Yes. Yes. So um, I'm loving this. I'm on an amen over here. Um, Can you, okay. So a lot of people may or may not know this about me, but in a former life in corporate America, I used to be a computer programmer. I had a part-time job teaching math. So I'm very like detailed and specific. Okay. So I, can you give everybody on here, like three ways that they can practice self-care as a beauty professional. And guys, listen, for those of you guys listening, I, he's probably like, this girl's put me on the spot. I don't <laughs> plan my questions ahead of time because I just let the conversation flow. So <laughs> he's probably like, well, oh, you yeah. just asked the right person. Cause I'm always ready. You know that. <laughs> All right. If you stay ready. You don't have to get ready. Right. Yes. Yes. So I think, um, number one, and this may be a little uncomfortable, but I love it. Read the room. Okay. What room are you in? Mm-hmm. Are you in the right room? How mm-hmm. does it make you feel? Mm-hmm. And when I say, how does it make you feel? We're not only talking about mind, mm-hmm. heart, gut. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the whole thing, mm-hmm. right? 
Mm -hmm. Are you the smartest one in the room? Right? Is the room full of love and light? How does that make you feel? Self-love first is awareness. So where is that at? Right? So if it makes you feel uncomfortable, now we got to do a little bit of digging, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, forgive yourself Mm -hmm. for the things that you think you've done wrong. The moment you realize and you wake up to the past and your mistakes and you look at them in a little bit different way as discoveries and you forgive yourself for the way you reacted or the way that you responded or the way that you handled a certain job position, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe an ego got in the way because that happens. Let that go and learn from it. So make sure that you're aware Make sure that you're forgiving yourself and make sure that you're giving yourself credit that you deserve. Like, are you looking in the mirror and you're saying, Jay, you are iconic. You are amazing and you believe it. And I don't know about you, Susan, but I will say it until I believe it. And if you cannot, RuPaul, here we go. If you can't love yourself, How are you ever going to love anyone else? So making sure that you read the room, you lean into that vulnerability and you forgive yourself. We all mess up. We're all in the room of error, right? And it's what you do with that moving forward in your life, right? It's credibility built. What should I do in this situation? And then it becomes familiar. And when it becomes familiar, then you can navigate the room right? Accordingly. So I think just making space for yourself, whatever that is, right? I go every four weeks to get a spa day. Okay. Every four weeks. It's in my calendar. No one can book that time away from me. Mm -hmm. No one. I don't care if it's a hundred thousand dollar check. I'm like, nope, wrong day. Pick another day, right? It's for me. So making sure you set yourself up for success as well. And you make time for yourself. Take yourself on a date. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done that? Like take yourself (laughs) to the movies, get the biggest popcorn, like binge out, right? Is it a walk? Is it getting a facial? Like, is it something that you're scared to do? Like, and you want to lean in, um, it starts there. So just being aware. Yes. I love it. Love it. And, um, I love what you were saying about forgiving yourself because, a lot of people don't take steps because they're afraid of making mistakes. Again. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Again. And I, you know, I made a lot mm-hmm. of mistakes as oh, a business oh, owner, <laughs> as a leader, as a mentor, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's all about life. Mm-hmm. And when you're aware, when you have that awareness, mm-hmm. you can make better decisions. That's forgiveness. Mm -hmm. is what you do next when you're faced with the same situation that maybe you got wrong the first time and owning up to that and saying, you know what, Susan, you know what, Jay, you know what, Sarah, if you're on here watching, Mm -hmm. it's okay. You're going to get it right next time. But it, but be aware of that, like have awareness and forgive yourself. But you got to where you are because you made a lot of mistakes and you kept going. Yes. Digging deep, right? Digging deep. Almost. I was just, I did a podcast with Tina Black Mm -hmm. recently and she said, I show up and I want to fight like a warrior Mm -hmm. and I want to be in the arena getting my A handed to me, just like Brene Brown says. Mm Mm-hmm. I want to get into the arena. That's where the magic happens. But you are going to be bruised. You are going to be beat up. But guess what? The next generation that's coming after you, when you share that love and light, what you learned and that forgiveness will make the industry more inclusive, more better, more stronger, more awake. Just share it. Lean in. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, um, one thing that, um, you know, I, I, I love that you're sharing all these things because, you know, when people look at social media, it, it gives people a false perception of what it takes to get, you know, to 
wherever it is that you are now, yeah. right? And I'm sure you're still not at your destination, um, but a lot of for a lot of people, where you are now is their is their destination, right? And so people sometimes feel like, oh, this is an overnight thing that happened, and you know, and I'm I'm very passionate right now about making sure that people understand the sacrifices, how yes. much it took, how many years, um, yeah. the things that you gave up. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I really want to be transparent about this. Oh, absolutely. Um, I was a hairstylist first before I had influence, right? In that influencer game. I spent hundreds, actually thousands of hours on sets for free in New York Fashion Week writing for the accessories council for free until I got paid five years later. <laughs> like I worked at fashion week for six years on my fifth year, I got paid mm. right. When I stepped into working hand in hand with a creative director for a production house. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's a lot of credibility. I was still doing stylists and I was still a stylist when I was going through that, but there's hours and hours and hours of just seeking knowledge first, yeah. seeking knowledge first. And I owned a salon first before everyone knew me, right? I was like five years into the game and then I blew up on Instagram. Like, so there was credibility built and I was already teaching with Paul Mitchell. I was already teaching for myself mm -hmm. before I blew up. So there was a lot of years, I'm talking 10, yeah. years of credibility building. And I seeked rooms where I was a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I knew nothing about it. And I listened. I seeked knowledge first and then the money came. So I feel like when your attentions are set and you seek knowledge first, your wildest dreams, you will have the cred credibility build. So when it's time to play a hardball as a creative director in the hair industry, there's credibility that I build along the way. So sometimes you can fast track it, but this was not overnight, right? Okay. <laughs> so it takes a lot of hours, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours yeah. added up to get to this point. Mm -hmm. And then now I go, I'm here. So now I have to build credibility where I'm at, right? right. And get a little bit more uncomfortable and get in rooms where I don't belong, mm -hmm. right? but I'm there taking out the trash, hand in a coffee, so I can listen to the conversations that are happening. Absolutely. So show up, show out, lean in. You can fast track it. You just have to show up and do what no one else wants to do. Mm, I love it. You know, I yes. can listen to your voice all day. <laughs> you should have a podcast. Oh, wait. I <laughs> do. <laughs> Tell everyone about your podcast, okay? Yes. Um, I have a podcast with my best friend, Nina Tulio. Um, <laughs> I'm j I feel so lucky that I get to do it with her. Yeah. But it's a No Stylist Left Behind podcast. We've had an amazing guest like season on. Yes, thank you. Um, we <laughs> love sharing. Oh, I, we're going to have you back too, just, just so you know. Mm -hmm. But we share unfiltered authentic stories of what it takes what grit the grit the it factor the you know showing up when you least when you don't know your worth we share our business tips we've already had our two-year anniversary i'm like nina what like we have hundreds of episodes <sighs> full of magical stories and you know topics that are uncomfortable, right? We lean in, we share stories. Like we're crying, we're screaming, we're cussing, we're <laughs> laughing. It's all of it, right? Yeah. So you can hear us on Spotify, Anchor, iTunes, wherever you can listen to a podcast, we are there. And it's the No Stylist Left Behind podcast because that is our main mission to make sure that your voice is heard. And we share a lot of stories from DMs that we get from classrooms that we stand in through you know fellow professionals that can educate me and Nina which will educate the industry so yeah we're all about it 
All right. I love it. Love it. Love it. So everybody make sure you tune in to the podcast. I mean, Jay, you've got so much going on. We've got your tour ongoing now through the beginning of next year. We've got your products. We've got um, your mentoring. Yes. And your yes. mentoring. So how do, we, how do people reach out to you on your mentorship? So if you go to jladner.com, um, all my resources are on there. So um, also on my DM, I, I'm going to say it again. Mm-hmm. And I put myself out there and maybe I was talking to one of my best friends that are like boundaries. I'm like, I don't care um, <laughs> about this. Cause I care about stylists. You can DM me, you can email me um, all the information about mentorship, my tour, um, all my online education, the podcast, everything that I'm doing um, for all of you and for this industry is on jlettner.com. And you can also slide in on, in my DM and my number is on my IG. So okay. if you really want to get intimate, slide right on in. All right. It, I'm accessible. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you heard it here first, Jay. I want to thank you so much for coming here and blessing everybody on Beauty to Bank. You have to come back another time. Oh, I promise I'll be there. You. All right. Thank you. Oops, got to unmute there. <laughs> How inspiring was that? Okay. Always, I can listen to Jay all day. Okay. I'm um, super informative. Thank you so much for being there. We got to have you back soon. Okay. We're going to shift gears over here. You guys know I'm going to be talking to you about digital content and I'm going to really be pushing you hard because, you know, it's sometimes people need that motivation. They need that push. And if that's you, this is this part is absolutely for you. So I want you to lean in, okay? Um, I love to share wins um, from some of my students for my um, group coaching program, okay? So when I say group coaching program, people are like really confused. They're like, what does that mean? That means I literally meet with a small group of people every single week. I meet with them every single week and I get in their face and I tell them like, come on, come on. Sometimes they're whizzing along and they don't need that. And sometimes people need me to tap them on the shoulder and say, come on back home. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to keep going. We're going to make this happen. Okay. Um, but let me share a couple wins. I want to share some wins um, from Shay and Millionaire Barber that are um, have been part of my group coaching program. Um, and Chin has been part of my program since before I even had a program. He's a, one of my first students that I really taught how to do all of this stuff that I do online. So let's take a look at what they've got to say. Hey, hey, everybody, it's your girl Shay Slay. So listen, I've been a stylist for 20 years and I started to get burnt out until I took this amazing course, you guys. Let me tell you, my life has changed. I went from being in a salon from five days a week to three and hopefully I'll be out of there forever. But listen, this course has allowed me to create digital marketing and allow me to make money in my sleep. My courses are now making so much that I am now able to spend time with my family. I'm able to come from behind the chair and do some of the things that I enjoy doing. So if you are tired, if you are burnt out, if you are a stylist, if you are looking to increase your revenue, please take this course. I promise you it's the best investment you'll make. Have a good one. Hey, and let's hear from Millionaire Barber. Season is me and Barbara here from Instagram. You know that I was a barber by trade. I had barber schools and a lot of beauty professionals have been wanting to move beyond the chair. I thank you for being my personal coach for over these years. You've taken me from zero to seven figures online. And I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate you. You showed me how to do all of those funnels, the automated emails. I know I called you a lot. And got on your nerves, but I've moved from behind that chair. Look what I got now. I got my own digital empire season. So thank you for all of the information you shared. I didn't know anything about how to do these automated emails, uh, the funnels, uh, everything that you've taught me. So if anybody's looking for a good coach and mentor to show them how to scale their business online, Season Bennett, the social barber is the truth. Thank you, Season.
You're welcome, Chin. All right, so I am um, here to invite you. Um, if you're interested in, in learning more about how you can start making um, passive income, how you can start packaging up what you know and start making money from it, I want to invite you to click the link to watch my, my free class. Um, and then I'm going to invite you to, you know, um, get on a call with me if you have questions. OK, you can get started immediately. Stop waiting. Stop waiting to start living. Stop waiting to to start your online classes. Start, stop waiting to start creating passive income. Start multiplying your hours. OK, instead of making one hundred dollars an hour, you can make. 1,600, 500, 2,000, whatever it is, okay? Everybody's is different, but it's multiplying your time, the time that you are working. I'm gonna show you how to multiply it and even you know, have exponential growth as well, okay? If you're curious, if you're on the fence, I need to talk to you. Go ahead and, and click on the link, watch the masterclass, and guess what? I will see you on the next episode of Beauty to Bang. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.